went to RB Leipzig on deadline day. His release clause of £9.5 million was met. My star striker's out for three months. And it's the 16th of October in game, so obviously I didn't stick to the schedule. Did you really think I would? Roll the intro. Yes, hello there dear viewer, welcome back to the channel for episode 52 of Enfield of Dreams. And coming up in today's video, we've got two games in the Premier League. We're home to Newcastle and away to Fulham. Since you're last here, um, I'll show you what we've been doing. And I'm actually going to show you highlights from these games as well. Because some of them are very well worth viewing. Now, as you can see, we are 7th in the league. We've had a very good start to the season, I would say. Now, you would have seen us recently lose against West Ham in the Premier League, two goals to one, of course a very late winner from them, after, you know, they probably did deserve it, but at the same time, it's still a kick in the nuts. We then did follow that up with a 5-1 win at home to Colchester, of course in the Carabao Cup, where Henrik Beck Hansen and Samuel Varela and Francisco Arego got their first goals for the club. We then narrowly lost to Spurs by three goals to two, we were 3-0 down going into half time. But then I had a change of tactic and uh, we came back and scored two goals in the second half. But sadly, was not enough. And we then went unbeaten in September, winning three of our four games. Uh, the only blip was away against Wolves, where we drew where we drew 0-0. We managed a narrow win over Watford in the league with Salah Rashid scoring a penalty. We beat Middlesbrough in the Carabao Cup and we recently beat Leicester in the Premier League as well. And also, we just beat Southampton by three goals to two. Now, I will show you highlights from this game because it was a corker, especially this goal from Malachi Fagan Walcott. Now, I think that is his... Oh, no, he has scored a few goals in the part. I thought that was the only goal he'd ever scored for us. But um, this is exactly what this guy is good at. Uh, you can see we've made a couple of other signings as well. I will introduce those in those guys into. I will introduce them to you as well. So um, just got to wait for this to load now. So you would have seen Salam Rashid score this penalty to put us one 0 up. It was then one one after hor after a horrible pass from Ben Beck Hansen. Uh, the keeper went way too early there, and Jones equalised for Southampton. We then retook the lead here. Through uh, Rashid on this right hand side, crosses it in. It's um, parried there by the keeper, but Plummer manages to put his head on it and get it into the back of the net. Southampton then did equalise straight into the second half from the first highlight. I personally thought this was offside, but um, obviously it wasn't given. And Sithal literally almost immediately puts the ball in. Fagan Walcott with a header. And he gives us the 3-2 win. As you can see from the notable events, uh, Southampton did have a goal chalked off for offside. And it was well offside, as you can probably imagine. But um, with that, we are 7th in the league, like I've said. And with those results, I think we've had a decent start to the season. I don't think we can complain about any of these. Obviously, we expect to lose at Spurs. Um, Newcastle as well. Obviously, Magpies millions and all that. Um, I'm not sure what kind of squad they're going to have. So this could be a tricky game. Now the game against Fulham could be interesting because obviously Fulham are a lower mid-table, maybe relegation threatened Fulham. So uh, not sure how their acquisitions have been going. Obviously, uh, if we have a look at their transfers, how much did they spend over the course of the summer? Spent 82 million. Okay, so they did spend a lot. Uh, Sergio Camello from Norwich. Arefa Mur from Sevilla Lamptey, they brought him in uh, on deadline day as well. I did see a few deals floating about for him. Mitrovic has actually left the club now, which is, I have to admit, a little bit disappointing really. I thought he was a Fulham boy. But um, he looks pretty good, 33 years old now. And uh, about yawning in the previous clip, I thought we'd just skip to game time now. So we've got your quizzer in goal, a back foot of Yuki Overella, Fagan Wilcott, and new boy Cherque. He is a basically the skirman replacement. He came in for an upfront fee of £7.25 million because we got the majority of the skirman money given to us in the transfer budget. So basically splashed a lot on this guy. Looks pretty decent. He was rated highly by the scouts. So I thought, you know what? Why the hell not? Fits into our dynamic. Young, hungry 
and not too bad. Meville, Plummer and Sithel in midfield. Rashid and uh, Chico, Chiquiao, uh, New Brazilian, uh, Wonder Kid. Is he a Wonder Kid? Uh, any of these actually Wonder Kids because I'm not actually sure. He's not. His immediate description is a winger. I will actually have to find out. Is Sithel a Wonder Kid? Is he? He is not. Media description is midfielder. So, have we actually got any Wonder Kids? That's the question. And uh, Arego up front. Um, I've decided to put Beck Hansen on the bench. He was the one who really did let us down in that last game against Southampton. Yes, we did go on to win. But Beck Hansen was the one who gave the ball away quite a lot. So let's get into this game. Hopefully we can avoid defeat here. I think a draw would be a decent result against a uh, Newcastle team headed by one Jose Mourinho. So uh, yeah, they've got Calvin Phillips in there. Uh, Luke Shaw, Gavardi, Ozanillo. Yeah, those kind of players. But I think we actually lined up against Newcastle at some point last season. So um, yeah, I mean, we're better than, since then. So hopefully we'll pose a threat. Now we have a free kick here. Arego! Oh, and it's just wide from Rashid's free kick. Hmm. And uh, Newcastle have a free kick here. And it's Lamar to take. And it's just over. It was a good opportunity for them. We're going to get encouraged. 25 minutes in. Both teams have had a highlight. Shot on target. We've had a shot on target. Newcastle haven't yet. Hopefully that does not come back to bite me in the bottom. But with 35 minutes in, 10 minutes before half time. See Chelsea have had a very, very tough start in the league. They're, they drew today, of course, against Liverpool. Which uh, that game's already finished. Now, um, I think we have actually been the better team in this first half. So, we've had a couple of shots on target. Our XG is higher than Newcastle's. Hopefully, we can find a um, find a few more highlights for us in this game and hopefully win the game. That would be very nice. But a draw, nonetheless, would still be a decent result, I'd say. We've got 20 minutes left or so. Newcastle have had another shot or two. And finally had a notable event, and that's a yellow card for Varela. Um, I think we're going to bring Cherquay off. We're going to put Raul Mantoya on. We're going to take Plummer off. And we're going to bring Tivridan on. And I think we'll put Beck Hansen out on the right-hand side of midfield. And uh, maybe we just swap him with Orego a little bit later, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we're going to encourage. We've got 82 minutes on the clock. We're going to hold on to this 0-0 because, I mean, it's not been a perfect. It's not been a great game by any means, but... Oh, I thought he could play out there. He can't. That sucks. Oh, well. So, we hit play. We've got three minutes of added time. And it's finished nil-nil. So, um, yeah. I mean, your quiz had a decent game, by all accounts. Newcastle, to be fair, did have a flurry of uh, late chances there. Nothing noteworthy of a highlight, but, I mean, nil-nil. I mean, I'm going to say we we're unlucky because we did have a few chances. Newcastle, of course, did have their chances as well. But at the same time, a 0-0 was not a bad result against a really good team with some really good players. Uh, they could very well be predicted to finish in the top six, top seven. And uh, with us predicted to finish bottom, rock bottom, by far rock bottom, I don't think that's a bad result. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Shall we move on to Fulham? Time away against Fulham here. You can see I've made a few changes to the team. Matinski comes in at left back. We've got Arada at right back. A few changes made in midfield as well. Um, not changed anything with the instructions. Um, I am toying with going with a Gagan press at some point. I do have it ready. I'm hopefully going to get it into training as well. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Said comes back in on the left-hand side of midfield. Or did I... Did I already have him there? I might have had Chico in the last game. Honestly, can't remember. But um, I'm hoping we can get something out of this game. Fulham are in the bottom three at the minute. So um, I'm hoping 
we can go here and get something. Um, I'm going to stick on positive because I think we can go here and get something. I've said that enough times already. But come on, let's do this. Let's see what we can do here, guys. It would be nice if we can get something. I mean, we've got a really nice chunk of points on the board already. So if we can get one or maybe three here, that would be great. So let's do it. Come on. I might be asking too much at this point in the season. I mean, we're already on 14 points after eight games. Oh, and Fulham have just hit the bar. Which is really nice. So Fulham have definitely had the uh, better of the opening 20 minutes here. And they are coming forward already again. It's with Angelo now for Fulham. On the left-hand side. Puts it to him. To him. Mare Mare Romero. Rodriguez. Boss Calgi now. It's into Romero. And Campwell shoots wide. You know what? I think we're going to swap back to balanced. And we're going to encourage... We need to uh, steady the ship a little bit here because we've been on the back foot by the looks of it for the most of the game. Possession, we are, I mean, we're clawing it back a little bit, but still not been great. 40 to 38 to 62. I mean, it looks like we're going into half time at 0 0. I mean, from way the, the way Fulham have played, I don't think that's a bad result. But we have not even registered a single shot yet. I mean, I am far from pleased with that. What the hell is going on? We've had three players booked as well. Right, we have a free kick. Rashid. And it's been cleared. But we've got it back through Arada. Arada gets it out to Varela. Fagan Wilcott. My two centre-backs are right there. Why? Varela cuts it into Tevreden. Sad. Henrik Han Beck Hansen. Puts it into Rashid. Oh, he scored a beautiful goal. Off in off the post. And it is 1-0. Get in there, baby. Our first shot of the game. And we have scored. Salam Rashid. And that position is something where I thought we'd struggle with this season. But Beck Hansen, lovely pass through to Rashid. Who hits the post. And it's in. And we lead 1-0. Come on, baby. That is better. This is a bit better. Even the dog's complaining at me now. Look, I'll have to deal with you in a minute. We're busy, we're busy at the minute. We're busy. We're watching. We're watching Enfield Town. Right, come on. We've got 18 minutes of this game left. It would be nice if we can hold on to it. Right, we're going to bring Plummer on for Sithel. He cannot do a Mazala roll, can he? Right, let's just put you on that. I would play the two midfielder positions. That's fine. Uh, a rego on for Hansen. Hansen's done okay so far today. And I think we'll do that for now. Come on. 15 minutes left. We have been on the back foot for the majority of this game. We've had two shots. And thankfully, we've managed to score. Sad is coming off for Yepes. I know Yepes can't really play on that left hand side, can he? But I've, I've done it now. And are we going to hold on to this? We did. Would you look at that? Wow. I mean... FM much? Wow, I am really surprised. I honestly thought we were going to go there and um, be a bit more dominant than what we were. I thought the, the roles were going to be reversed. I thought we were going to be the ones in control there. And my phone's ringing. Pardon me a sec. Phone call dealt with. So what we're going to do, because the FC United of Manchester game is what basically one game away, I'm not going to show you that. I might sh may show you the away game. Maybe, I don't know, maybe with the FA Cup third round game and then we go there. Dep obviously, it's dependent on who we face in the FA Cup as well. Uh, I don't really want to show you Fulham again, but I guess we'll see. But um, next episode, you can look forward to two of three games. It's either going to be Liverpool-Arsenal or Arsenal-Chelsea. Now, um, I know we've played Arsenal. I don't think you've seen that in a video. But then we haven't played Liverpool or Chelsea yet from memory. 
I think I would have remembered that if uh, we did. But I'm going to do Everton, FC United of Manchester and Burnley off camera. Maybe Liverpool as well, depending on what I decide to do. So, uh, sounds good to me. Hopefully sounds good to you. But at the minute, we seem to be doing okay in the Premier League. Um, five wins, two draws and two defeats leave us in fifth at the minute. Obviously, I'm expecting this to change. We're going to go down, especially next month's fixtures. Um, as long as we can beat Burnley, then um, I think we'll be okay for the rest of the month in November. It could be a uh, heavy negative goal difference, though, has to be said. But, um, I've, and of course, don't forget FC United because, yeah, that could be a very tough game. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you drop a like. Please do hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't already to continue watching this series because I think we're going somewhere with this because it's uh, we've got a good set of good young players and uh, I'm just hoping it can continue. Thanks again. Ciao for now.